Wind chill is dipping to minus 35, making the cold feel that much colder. And with the temperature that low, students are forced to stay inside as the risk of frostbite is just too high. Anna Kanavait has more. Staying indoors isn't always exciting, but these kids have no choice. Because it's really cold outside and I don't really like to be in cold places, but it's a lot fun outside too. With minus 30 to minus 40 wind chill temperatures, frostbite is a threat. I think our biggest concern is that we have students walking to school that are perhaps not as warmly dressed and covered up as they should be. So, uh, you know, the typical spots will be around the face because that, that tends to be the least protected. So those areas, your feet, your nose or your face and your hands are going to be areas that you're really want to, going to pay attention to when you're out in extreme cold weathers. The cold weather has kept the kids indoors for recess and they can't wait for the day when they can go out and play on the playground again. What do you like about having recess inside? Is it kind of fun? No. No? You don't like having recess inside? No. How come? Uh, because it, there's not much things to do. But Martin Brown is trying to make indoors fun. Beyblades is a heavy favorite among these kids. Yeah, a lot of kids are able to play with them because there's like five humongous bins of the blocks we make them out of at school. And students will be spending a few more days inside as the frigid wind chill is expected to continue. Anna cannot wait, New Cap News. Well, the cold weather may have one upside. According to RCMP, thefts from vehicles were down in the month of December. 14 thefts were reported last month. That's a 50% drop from November. I think in December, obviously, we're out a little bit more because of the, the holiday season. So I'm hoping that maybe some of that may have uh, deterred some of the theft as well. But it has been very cold too, so, you know, we'll sort of split that up. Now, despite the drop, RCMP want to remind you to stay smart and lock your things away from would-be thieves. Make sure your valuables are out of your car, lock your doors, uh, put it in a safe place and hope for the best. The results come from the RCMP's Lock It or Lose It campaign. Well, we live in a digital day and age and more and more technology is changing our classrooms. Now we take a look at a twist to a performing arts class, all thanks to technology on this week's Beyond the Classroom. What are those things? At first glance, you probably wouldn't expect this to be a performing arts class. But look a little closer. I'm sure you've heard me. My name is just the With new technology, these kids are now dabbling in digital film. We have cameras and tripods and video cameras and we have the Macs that we use for editing. It all started thanks to a local teacher's passion. For me, I've always been really excited about filmmaking. Uh, ever since I was in grade six, I had a teacher kind of pitch it to me and I've been hooked ever since then. Oh, okay. And pitching it to his own students now, they're also hooked. We're almost like in a film studio of our own. We got our own programs, we got our own uh, video cameras. We can pretty much, uh, sky's the limit, you know? We can do anything we really want. Tackling everything from shooting a short film to digitally remixing music. Right now, students are writing their own songs and creating them using GarageBand, and then they're actually going to produce a music video uh, with the cameras and edit it all down and, and put that all together. And while these kids are learning all the tricks of the trade in a digital day and age... Dude, oh, where's my phone? There's still no shortage of budding performers. Hi, Mom. Love you. 